Hello parents of Eastside Kids, my name is Anthony and I have the super huge honor of being in charge of our Eastside Kids ministry. Uh, it's been a super huge blessing to be ministering to the children of this church. And I want to talk to you guys specifically right now about our Ultimate Summer VBS and how it's going to look like with COVID being a reality in this season. Uh, so in the past, your kids would have come right in the morning and then they would have left at three o'clock at night and they would have been singing and dancing, going through rotations, playing games. And then in the afternoon, we'd have even more activities for them to do, including water days and uh, maze days and carnivals and all sorts of crazy uh, activities. And those have been a really great blessing in the past. And we've seen a lot of kids really mature in their faith with Christ or even come to Jesus through uh, our ultimate summer day camps. So we knew as a church that we needed to do something this year uh, because that opportunity for ministry was something that we couldn't we couldn't do without. So, but we had to change it and rearrange it a little bit to be in line with our current public health guidelines. So we've done a ton of research looking into what Alberta Health wants from day camps this year. And so we've reached uh, this system that I'm going to present to you now and what our VBS is going to be looking like. So as opposed to having our singing and dancing and being gathered in a big room, watching dramas and uh, listening to lessons about Jesus, we're actually going to be doing that portion online. So 9 a.m. of every morning of day camp, which is going to be August 10th to the 12th, there is going to be a video that regardless if you're coming to VBS or if you're not going to be participating this year, you'll have an opportunity to watch that with your family. And we're putting in great lengths to make sure that those videos are top notch. Beyond that, we're also going to be bringing a limited amount of children into the building. Alberta Health wants day camps to be in groups of 50. And so we've decided to limit the amount of children to 40, and then we'll have about 10 volunteers that'll be, you know, guiding the children and leading them through the different rotations that'll be happening here. So that means that if you're thinking about registering, it would be a really good idea to get on that right away, uh, just due to our limited capacity. So in addition to that, there will be four different rotations that your children will be going through. Uh, these rotations, uh, so we'll have the kids divided up into groups of 10. So definitely you know, not a bunch of kids in the same room. And those kids will be divided into two crews. They'll kind of be moving together, but not super interacting. And we're gonna do our, our best to make sure that your students are social distancing where, where it is appropriate in that moment. Obviously, we all know with kids, um, they're gonna to touch each other. That's, that's sort of the reality. And we've accepted that as a church. And maybe you as a parent have accepted that, taking them to playgrounds or you know, letting your children go back to school in the fall is that's going to be um, a reality, it seems like for all of us. So we understand that, but we still want to take uh, certain measures to make sure that kids are staying, you know, if they are touching each other, it's limited. There's not going to be hugging or wrestling or anything like that, right? So uh, they'll, be ga they'll be moving around like that. All of our volunteers and staff will be wearing masks. That's not negotiable with any of our volunteers. They will be wearing masks for the two hours from 10 a.m. to 12 a.m. Uh, they will be wearing their masks and they will be doing that uh, as to follow our Calgary guidelines and also just our personal belief that we want our children volunteers to be wearing masks. Children will be sanitizing throughout the day as they move to each section. Any materials that children are going to be using, those are going to be sanitized as well. In addition, we're also going to be screening children and volunteers as they come in in the morning, making sure that they haven't been in contact with other people with, who have had COVID or they haven't traveled outside the country. They're not coming in with a runny nose or a cough or anything like that. So we're going to be screening the children every day that we make sure that we're not allowing sick children to potentially infect the other children. So if you're not 
Uh, maybe that sounds like a safe plan to you. Maybe it doesn't. Either way, that's uh, that's what we're going with. That's what we're moving forward with. And we're really excited about it. We think it's going to be a great opportunity for your children to grow closer to Christ in this season. And if you're if you've been a longtime member here or you're new and you just don't feel comfortable, we totally understand. We totally get it. And that's why we want to put out those videos for you so that your your children don't feel like they're missing out. We also have our in-person services right now. Um, we've been running them every Sunday at 930 and 1130 and they've been they've been great. Uh, kids haven't of course been haven't been perfect with the social distancing, but they've been doing a pretty good job. And we want to we're going to keep moving forward with that. We're gonna, we have lessons and we have games and we're doing our best to uh, make sure that Sunday services are the best that we can do during this season. Again, if you are uncomfortable with what we're doing as a church, we totally get it. We totally understand. And we're not, uh, we're not guilting you. We're not forcing you. We're not pushing you into anything that you don't want. But we do want to let you know about our Eastside Kids YouTube. Like I said, our VBS videos are going to go on there. But we're also putting out videos every week. And we've been, uh, we've been putting a lot of work and effort into those. So if you want to go check those out, they are, uh, they are there for you. And uh, yeah, we'd love, to, um, we'd love to share that with you. So yeah, I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you for partnering with us. Thank you for uh, just being a part of this church. And I really hope that uh, in whatever way we can, that we can just best minister to your children. So pray for us. Pray that we're able to uh, do the best job we can ministering to your children. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks. Thank you for watching. And uh, I hope to see you at some point.